welcome to a new video that is mcqs on virology or viruses and this is the part 5 of this series of video series of mcqs on virology so here so here the first question is measles vaccine is a live vaccine killed vaccine subunit vaccine or recombinant vaccine and the right answer is option a that is live vaccine so measles vaccine is a live vaccine so next one is measles vaccine is given at third month sixth month or nine month or one year and the right answer is option c that is nine months so measles vaccine is given at ninth month of pregnancy okay so move on to the next that is polio virus is present in blood faces both of the above and none of the above and the right answer is option c that is both of the above so polio virus is present in blood and faces okay so move on to the next question that is rotavirus is present in blood faces urine or sputum and the right answer is option b that is faces so rotavirus is present in faces so move on to the next that is which of the following viruses belongs to family calciviridae and the options are hepatitis b virus hepatitis d virus hepatitis e virus and all of the above and the right answer is option c that is hepatitis e virus so hepatitis e virus belongs to the family calciviridae and the next one is the principal core antigen of hiv is gp120 p24 p25 or p18 and the right answer is option b that is p24 is the principal core antigen of hiv so the next one is basophilic inclusion bodies are seen in infection with molluscum contagiosum or rabies virus or adenovirus or pox virus and the right answer is option c so the right answer is adenovirus so basophilic inclusion bodies are seen in infection with adenovirus so move on to the next example of a contagious cell line sorry continuous cell line is option a wi38 option b vero option c rhesus monkey kidney cell line or option d that is human aminion cell line and the right answer is option b that is vero so vero is a continuous cell line so move on to the next question that is viral hemorrhagic fever is caused by all of the following viruses except ebola dengue sand fly fever or chikungunya and the right answer is option c that is sand fly fever so viral hemorrhagic fever is caused by sand fly uh, all of the all of this except sand fly fever okay so the next one is example of a non neural anti rabies vaccine is hdcs farmi or sample or ppl and the right answer is option a that is hdcs hdcs means human deployed cell strain that is a rabies vaccine okay so move on to the next it is what is or are the pathogenic mechanism of hiv infection options are viral cytolysis of cd4 plus t cells syncytium formation between infected and uninfected cd4 plus t cells immune cytolysis of cd4 plus t cells or all of the above and the right answer is option d that is all of the above so this all these options are the pathogenic mechanism of hiv infection 
so the next one is hiv can infect cd4 plus t lymphocyte monocytes microglial cells or all of the above and the right answer is option d that is all of the above so hiv can infect CD4 plus T lymphocyte, monocytes, and microglial cells. Okay, so next one is dengue virus is present in blood, feces, urine, or sputum. And the right answer is option A. It is blood. So dengue virus is present in blood. So next question is fixed rabies virus is less neurotropic, also known as street virus, passaged intracerebrally in rabbits or fixed in hippocampus and the right answer is option c that is passaged intracerebrally in rabbit so fixed rabies virus is passaged intracerebrally in rabbits okay so next question is anti-mortem anti-mortem diagnosis of rabies can be done by detection of viral antigen in corneal impression smears, facial skin biopsy, both of the above or none of the above and the right answer is option C. So both of the above. So anti-mortem diagnosis of rabies can be done by detection of viral antigens in corneal impression smear and facial skin biopsy. Okay. So move on to the next question that is hyper gamma globulin mere in HIV infection shows increased blood levels of IgG, IgA, both of the above or none of the above and the right answer is option C, it is both of the above. So in hyper gamma globulinemia in HIV infection shows increased blood levels of IgG and IgA. So move on to the next question that is the delta agent is a defective virus or is hepatitis D virus or needs hepatitis B virus as a helper or are all of the above and the right answer is option D that is are all of the above so the delta agent are all of the above that is the delta agent is a defective virus is a hepatitis D virus and needs hepatitis B virus as a helper so move on to the next question that is Antigenic shift in influenza virus is abrupt, drastic, discontinuous variation or all of the above and the right answer is option D that is all of the above. So antigenic shift in influenza virus is abrupt, drastic and discontinuous variation. So move on to the next that is chicken pox is caused by pox virus, herpes virus vaccinia virus or varicella juster virus and the right answer is option d that is varicella juster virus so chicken fox is caused by varicella juster virus so the last question of this video is what is the average incubation period for development of aids and the options are one year five years 10 years or 15 years and the right answer is option c that is 10 years so the average incubation period for development of AIDS is 10 years okay so these are the all 20 questions of this video so thank you for watching this video